people had to wade through ankle-deep floodwaters in Toronto, Canada yesterday. Following a severe thunderstorm, a month's worth of rain, four inches to be exact, fell on the city in just four hours. The heavy rainfall triggering a flash flooding that to stop commuter trains in their tracks, leaving passengers stranded. Marine units had to be called in to rescue some of those passengers. The rainy weather also caused power outages to about 300,000 residents. Now there's also an increased risk that the banks of the Don River may collapse. A Florida teen survived a frightening run-in with an alligator that bit him on the head. The biggest cut was right here. There's 19 stitches in there, and there's staples up here. There's two cuts that way that have, I think, 15 staples, and then there's two staples over here, and there's stitches in my back where one of his teeth went in there. It's hard to look at. You can see the puncture right yeah. in his head there. 17-year-old Andrew Hudson was released from the hospital after three hours of emergency treatment. Andrew and a friend were swimming in a river when a 10, they say somewhere 9 to 10-foot gator, chomped down on his head. He was able to fight off the gator while his friend ran to get help. Andrew says the gator bite was quick, powerful, and painful. But he hopes to have all his stitches and staples removed by next week. A newly leaked Pakistani government report shows that a police officer let Osama bin Laden go free during a routine traffic stop a decade ago. The, better, uh, the report says that bin Laden was riding in a car that was stopped for speeding only to be let go. Interrogations of bin Laden's wives and family also revealed that the man behind the September 11th terrorist attacks went out in his compound's garden wearing a cowboy hat to avoid being identified by satellite surveillance. The report uh, cites numerous botched opportunities and examples of gross incompetence on the part of the Pakistani government that allowed bin Laden to avoid detection.